Now what we're going to do here is we're going to follow his footsteps down to the beach, along the beach, to the point where the saboteurs actually landed and buried their explosives and other sabotage equipment. So if, as we go, I can talk a little more about the submarine and how they got stuck on the sandbar and so on. So if, if it's possible for you to stay kind of within earshot, um, I'll speak up as much as I can without going bald. Thank you. So we ready? Okay, let's go. We're just waiting on Mr. Collins to be brought down. Huh? Um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for the hold up. We've been very, very blessed to have relations of John Cullen here. And one of the Cullens were just bringing over because he couldn't walk. <laughs> Over there. You're not supposed to be on the beach and if you don't have a uniform on. Who are you? Colin shined his flashlight in the direction of the strangers, but it was of little use, so he turned it off. Coast Yes. Who are you? Fisherman. From East Hampton. We're on our way to Montauk. Boat ran aground. East Hampton? Montauk? That's crazy. Do you know where you are? I don't know where we landed. I mean, came ashore. You should know. You're an Amagansett. That's my station over there. Why don't you come with me and spend the night with us? All right, Buckaroo. They walked together a few steps in the direction of the lifeboat station. Then the stranger changed his mind. <laughs> I can't go. Why not? Snap boo. I don't have any ID. They don't have fishing for me. That's OK. Come along with me. No. You gotta come. No, I won't go. Twenty-one. You have a mother? Yes. Father? Yes. Colin backed away from the stranger. 
clutching the bills in his hand. Once Colin reached the safety of the fog, he ran for his life. They're never going to believe this! And then ran for the chair! <laughs> Station. I said, John, the chief's case should have named the Coast Guard Station there. <laughs> <laughs> 